So this is the power supply from the Xerox photocopier. Again, what is really strange about this is that they chose to do a separate power supply from the main computer power supply, which we already covered before. So this is how it looks all around. Pretty much a sealed case, not much else we can see from here except for the label. So let me turn this and we'll get to that. And even so it's a pain in the ass to hold while I try to work. Alright, so looking at the top there, we see Fextronix International and somewhere in Hungary. If we come down, there's some barcode here, don't know what that's from. Then we come along here and we see it's Delta Electronics. And the top has a 15 amp, 100 to 240, 15 amp, um, 47 to 63, so they've covered all the frequencies. But then go below and it's input 200 to 240, 10 amp. So, who knows? Anyway, notwithstanding, the AC output on this is uh, auxiliary 1 amp, auxiliary 2 amps. I will see that when we check here. That's the output for the plugs. And then the fuser is 100 to 240, 520 volt, watts max, which is interesting. Um, I guess it has to know which voltage to make sure that works out the DC output voltage is 24.5 10 amps 24.5 volts B 3.6 amps 3.3 16 5.1 2.6 amps on that 3.3 volts SB not sure what SB is 0.1 um, you might maybe be constantly on I'll probably have to research that and then 12 volts 2.3 amps and it's made in thailand the overall power of this is 430 watts so it's a heck of a beast for that uh let me see if i can put this down and get to this right these are the two auxiliary outputs that we're talking about power in traditional plug and then we have a one amp out a two amp out computer fan let me get this thing open have a look inside all i really want to see if it's old time old fashioned stuff like it had in the last one um not much else to really look inside of it's just a power supply this is what 14 years of misery can do for you it's lovely very very clean clearly one of the nicer places to look in and work old school and uh, sort of expected that given that the other thing uh, that we opened the power supply for the computer itself was very very old school so this is you know I guess earlier days switch mode um, I was kind of hoping we'd see some bit more color coding or something there but these jumpers aren't labeled again though we've read the nameplate and know that you know what voltages they have out and what kind of current they're getting and again assuming they've used the same standard colors we have our oranges for 3.3s yellow for the 12 the red for the five and then of course black for the ground i don't really think i have very much use for much of this it isn't that powerful um there's a bit of relays in there but i have some other relays and new relays a bit of coils some heat sinks in case i need uh maybe i just need to have power supply for something that i can you know basically sacrifice it for in case but even here i don't know this has short circuit protection New power supplies from a computer has short circuit protection. They feel easy to come by. So don't really think I have much use for this. Don't really think I'm going to try cleaning this up and start sneezing right now. So I'm just going to close it back and leave it like this. Pretend I never saw that dust in there.